used a problem about two separate experiments to measure the illuminance. One in which the illuminance a certain distance from bulb A is measured, and one in which the illuminance a certain distance from bulb B is measured. What we know is that bulb A is two times brighter than bulb B. And we also know that a sensor 10 centimeters from bulb A measures the illuminance at that point. What we want to know is how far must that same sensor be placed in a different experiment, be placed from bulb B, to get the same exact illuminance value. So we want the same measurement as in this experiment, but now with the dimmer bulb. So you're probably expecting that, okay, the sensor is going to have to be closer than it was before. You just don't know how close to get the same reading it was getting in that first experiment. So we'll put the sensor closer and say that we just don't know what this distance is that will produce the same reading as in the first experiment. So maybe I'll call this um, first distance RA, the distance to bulb A in this experiment, and what we don't know is RB, how far away the sensor is in this experiment. We do, however, know the luminance is the same in both separate experiments. So luminance, E, relates to the power of the source as well as the distance from the source that, that you're measuring at. And so in this case, since we know we want the luminance to be the same in these two cases, if you knew that value, and you knew the power, you could solve for the distance, you knew the distance, you could solve for the power, that's one way to go. Another way to go is to just take the statement that the luminance values will be equal and make that into its own little equation that's only valid if that's true, which in this case it is, that the luminance in this uh, that this sensor is measuring from bulb A is equal to the illuminance that it's going to measure in the second setup with the second bulb. And then we can go ahead and sub in this illuminance equation once with bulb A's values and once with bulb B's values. So let's start P for bulb A, that's power, and the distance for bulb A, which actually we know, we can sub in there too. B, and the distance from ball B squared, and that's what we're looking for. And you can see we can already do a few substitutions and and um, and cancellations. There's four pi here. There's a four pi there. We can cancel that out. And we're not going to solve for values, but we're just going to not going to solve in particular units. I think it's okay to leave um, this in centimeters and not in meters. So I'll go ahead and stick in instead of R A squared. All right, 10, keep that square there. But it's still not very solvable, even if I simplify it to make it look a little better. P A over 10 squared equals P B over R B squared. Well, there's what we're looking for, and there's two more unknowns in our problem, which is kind of a difficult thing. But there's another statement that we have yet to use, and the statement we have yet to use is the idea that bulb A is two times brighter than bulb B. In other words, it has twice the power of bulb B. So a fully separate statement that, that is involved in this problem is that the power of bulb A is twice the power of bulb B. And between these two equations, it actually is enough to solve. I can substitute this way and now say, oh, bulb A's power that's twice bulb B's power. I'm just going to stick that in right now. Twice bulb B's power. And then you see, oh, there's a little more canceling that can be done as well. I'll simplify that again. And when you finally solve it out for this distance, you're going to end up with 7.07 .07 centimeters. So as expected, it is closer to this dimmer bulb to get the same luminance as it was getting from... Um, this bulb when it was 10 centimeters away. Again, this is one option. Other options involve just literally substituting in the numbers you know, and that's a fine route to take as well. I just thought I'd show you this substitution as an alternative.